Hello everybody and welcome back to another Toon Kind at 12 FPS. I am Avi and I will be playing our wonderful idiot thief boy Arata Satomi and today I am joined by... Hi, it is I, Nostaria. I will be playing March Script, local boar baby, who uh, hopefully will be managing his emotions better this time. He fucking better. He better, or else I'm gonna hold him at gunpoint. I be Avi will hold him at gunpoint. <laughs> <laughs> I too will hold him at gunpoint. Then again, I am the one responsible for all the angst, so you know. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be rolling my physical dice. I don't. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Uh, it's totally fine. I'll, I will be using dice parser because both my both dice parser and my dice bully me, and I think my dice bully me more. Oop. So yeah. Um. How 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 we? Wh where are we dropping, boy? <laughs> <laughs> where are we dropping? Okay. Uh, <laughs> how about I start with this? Hey, March. What are you doing up, uh, right now? Um. I think he um I I think uh, he he he'd mo he's mostly he been mostly at his house at well there March and Hugh's apartment and like just doing the like usual stuff like caring for Hugh because Hugh's very Hugh's currently still sick even though he he did sneak sneak outside to go uh out go on a stroll in uh Curry use conversation. He is still sick. It was carrying favors. Cur yep, yep. I I know my I know my <laughs> FPSs. Totally. Um. Yeah, and just like, I but I think you did like, gently bully him into going outside and taking a break. You know what? <clears throat> you know what? That's valid. Uh. And something else that happened in, uh, Currying Favors, um... Uh, Hugh and Arata met, and Arata now knows where Hugh and March's apartment is. So... I think... Because Arata knows that March wasn't doing great during Simon Says, he's going <laughs> to- He's going to drop by and check on March. Okay. So like, where, where... well, how, how how are you going uh, to go to their apartment? How how are you, how, how are you doing this? Uh, I think he's just walking on the sidewalk, not not on the roofs, cause uh, oh boy. <laughs> so you're not going to enter through the window, all right? No, that's rude. And also, this is a friend's apartment. He wouldn't do that. <laughs> Yeah, okay. I mean, they already have a person come- but regularly comes in through the fucking window, so, you know. As um, you do. <laughs> yeah, but this is not decimal. This is the rogue that actually respects, um, personal fucking, I don't know, houses. <laughs> he respects private property. Yeah. For the most part. To an extent. When he's not wearing the mask. Yeah, when he's not trickster, he he's a respect he's a respectful boy. So, for yeah. most people. Like yeah. Those who deserve it. So did you say that March is outside or taking a break? Yeah, or? he's like starting to like go he's like going outside. He hasn't been it's not like been a long time outside, probably like Ten minutes ish, um, just like a bit of a stroll outside. All right. Um. Then in that case, I think you are probably within view of the apartment, and uh, probably around the time you come back to the to the apartment, um, you actually see Arata Satomi coming down the street from the opposite direction. And he's carrying a bag with Genie in it. Hmm. And, uh, he sees you, and he lifts up a hand, and he says, Hey, March. Oh. Oh, Aretta, hi. 
Hey, uh, you doing all right? Y yeah. I, I, sorry about then. Uh, I've been doing much better. I'm gonna roll in sight right now. <laughs> all right, all right. I'm gonna roll We're going the for it. Oh fuck. March has advantage. That's a twenty-two. Okay. Yeah, and uh. Oh my god. Well, uh, you can tell March is doing a very convincing facade of being totally fine. But, uh, yeah, it's still a bit shaking up, shaken up by fucking everything that happened back then. Alright, uh... <clears throat> I don't think Arata, like, knows if uh, March is comfortable enough with him yet that he can just, like, gently pat March's shoulder or whatever. But, um... <laughs> hmm. Uh, what does he do? I'm trying to decide what he does here. Uh, give me a sec. Um... Hmm. He kinda, uh, tilts his head at you. Genie also tilts his head. Um... Uh, and he goes... Uh, about as fine as he can be? After all that happened? Yeah. Arana is yeah. looking at you carefully. <laughs> Marge is like... He's like, hmm. Um, Marge is definitely working at, like, the facade. Is a, like, his... He's acting. You can tell he's acting. Because this boy is an actor. He Like, if you know any of the... Of the uh, the engineer movies, you know that March is a um. March is is a famous actor now for because of Star Cause. Oh God, that's right. We still need to listen to Star Cause, but Arata would absolutely have seen it. <laughs> um. So yeah, he's he he's he he's an actor, and he uh. I I've been doing this, but uh, whenever instead of rolling a uh, deception, I roll performance for March to put, because March is acting as if he's like he's acting to show that's like, oh yeah, he's fine. But no, he's not. He's you little shit. <laughs> Arada is just like Arada gives you a look that like lets it, lets that like tells March that like I know you're not fine. You. <laughs> You, you tiny man, no. <laughs> March is taller you than tall ch You tall child. Get some rest, tall child. Tall child. <laughs> and, um... So, I think it's, it's a bit of, like, awkward silence before March is like, well, uh, you want to... Come in. I I was about to uh, return. Oh. And, um. Yeah, sure. Um, I actually met with Hugh a little bit ago. So uh. Oh yeah, he he told me about it. Uh. Yeah, he uh, he shouldn't really be walking around because he's still sick. But yeah. Uh, if you don't mind cats. Eh, it's fine. I... Yeah. And he, uh... He, March will probably, like... Oh, I'm gonna roll, uh, Hammer Space just for fun. That's a nine. Uh, March will unlock the... March fishes out, uh, the apartment key, unlocks the door, and, like, opens it for you. Yeah, and Arata comes inside. Yeah, uh, close the door behind the locks it, whatever, all that, all that jazz, and like, well, uh, Hugh's, uh, currently sleeping on the sofa, so, uh, you wanna talk in the kitchen, maybe? Sure. Uh, yeah. And, um, yeah, no, for fun, how about you make a, a little perception check 
Just... All right, come on, you little thief boy. How did you get another 19? <laughs> Incredible. <a> five. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a pretty it's a it's it's a, it's a it's a pretty homely kitchen. Like you see, uh, you see, but, but there is a lot of baking equipment, like flour and sugar and all that stuff. Cause uh, you remember that March uh, gave everyone like cool bag bags of cookies. You then you sort of realize that hey, maybe March uh, has a baking uh, habit. March is like. Baking hobby, hobby. I was just, that was the word I was looking for. Yeah. Uh, has a baking hobby, and uh, you can very clearly also see that there are a couple of cookie jars, but a very tall, uh, but very uh, high up, and um, like March can reach them easily, but Hugh can't, and you can probably assume that's because Hugh has a, and uh, if you ask. Um, March will tell you, but it's because he has a very big sweet tooth, and he will eat all the cookies unless um, March <laughs> stops him. <laughs> Love that. Love that here. Um, I think I think Arata is probably gonna like stand around where the uh, where the nearest table is. Sorry, the baby's mm -hmm. laughing. <laughs> you might. You love the baby. Uh, <laughs> uh, use uh. He's going to stand around where the uh, where the table is, and he's going to like reach to like take off his bag, and then he like realizes that he's like, "Do you mind if Genie gets out of the bag?" Or oh, oh, it's fine. All right, uh, and he takes off the bag off his shoulder, and he puts it on the nearest chair, and Genie gets out and stretches a bit, and he wanders around. He doesn't go too far away from Murata. But there is now a cat out of the bag. <laughs> I see. <laughs> <laughs> Incredible. Um, yeah, March doesn't seem to mind the uh, cat now. Um, because, fun fact, there are a bunch of, like, little creatures that, that uh... I somehow ended up in March's and Hughes March and Hughes apartment. Like there is um there is an octopus, there is a fish, an but Hugh Yeah, there is an octopus. There is an octopus in, in March and Hughes apartment. Don't worry about it. Oh God. Thank you, Lynn, for giving Hugh Harold. Oh, uh, I'm crying. Okay. Um Harold is probably somewhere giving you a death glare. Um, it, there and and near and in a different tank, there is also a cute little goldfish that uh, March won, but not March, but you won and gave to March, and March is like, oh thanks, and 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 now there's another pet. Um, they have a lot of pet. I've come to realize. Anyways, um, there's also the tiny but, uh, visits from time to time. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's um, fine. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a very, uh, lived-in, uh, apartment. It, it's, it's pretty orderly, because the two of them do, uh, do their cleaning. But, yeah, it's, it's live, it's lively, it's lived-in. It looks very homey, and, um... I think I think Arata is going to like take a deep breath, and um, he's probably just going to rip the bandaid off. And he, you see him take a deep breath and sigh, and he kind of he reaches a hand and like fidgets with the uh, the fringe of his hair, and mm -hmm. um. After a moment, he he says, um, I'm gonna be honest, March, um, I actually wanted to come in and check on you because, well, after, after what happened, 
back then I was kind of worried about you. Oh, um, well, and Marge is like sort of looking away. He, he, he's, you, you can tell with that perception, but he, uh, as soon as you, we, you enter the kitchen, Marge immediately sort of like made himself busy, like putting some, putting like food together, uh, like not really making food, but like taking like baked stuff uh, and putting them like on a plate and like grabbing some food for uh for genie but like there's probably like maybe like fish in the uh in in the the fridge so he's like put some for genie oh genie loves you immediately <laughs> <laughs> and like he like gives you you Arata, you probably get like a croissant on and like a couple of cookies. Yeah, Arata's going to take that and, um, she takes that with, like, a very soft thank you. And, um, he's, he's watching you march very carefully. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to decide, so, you know what, screw it, go ahead and roll insight. Okay, what's my insight? Uh, I can't remember if... Hold up. Forgot, I... Some of Marge's stats changed, and now I need to look at his fucking cheat again. Uh... <laughs> insight is the same, okay. That's a nat 20, okay. Okay, so a natural 20. Modified 23. Uh, a natural 20. Um, yeah. Arata's concern for you is something that is coming to him very naturally. Um, you get the impression that he has absolutely been an older sibling before, and seeing you in that state earlier... Uh, during Simon Says, the battle, um, and him coming, coming to, like, come and check on you, <clears throat> he is very much in that, like, protective older sibling state of mind without even real realizing it. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Older brother mode engaged. Older brother mode engaged. Um. And. And, um. March kind of notices that and just like, well, um. I, um. I've been doing better. I. It's. Uh, it's it's a work in progress. I mean, yeah, it, it usually is. Um, I mean, better is definitely good and all, but... I... He, he sighs again. <laughs> I, uh, and March sort of, like, takes a pause and just, like, I so the Great Axe a few days ago. I keep bringing back bad memories. Oh. I... I takes couldn't... a deep breath and he goes, that's probably for the better. Yeah, I... I think it's better... I got a different weapon, and, um, I think it might even be better for my, I, I don't know, fighting, I guess. Yeah. And, uh, I'm gonna roll a hammer space again. That's a d10. That's a free, not a fumble. Yeah. Um, and, and he will, um, 
he will take out a fountain, uh, fountain falchion, and um, I don't have the finished drawing for it uh, at the moment, so I'm just going to send the uh, sketch if I can, if I can find it. Um, hold up, I swear I have it. <laughs> And there goes the boy, the baby boy, playing with his toys. Clink, 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 clink. Clink, clink, clink. I love, I love the baby. Baby cameo. His birthday is tomorrow, guys. There we go. <laughs> <gasps> baby! Uh, baby grows oh, bigger. That is, a, that is a really nice sword. <laughs> yeah, uh, basically, uh, I didn't draw that. The So, on the hilt, there is a... Uh, there's the uh, dragon scale porch thing, whatever that uh, he that March got from Walk Among Them. Uh, if you're wondering about that, go what go listen to Walk Among Them. March had an existential crisis. Um, oh my god! <laughs> and um, there is a there are like sort of like vines on the, the fountain fountain itself, and there is a flower that, on it. It's like it's very pretty and elegant, and I had fun designing it. Yeah, Arana, Arana probably sees it and he lets out a whistle and he goes, That is a fancy looking sword. Oh, thank you. Um, I think it's just sort of like changed to fit my design. I, that's, I think it, it's just like tune stuff. Arana nods. He has no idea what what is and isn't normal for tunes at this point. Do you think March knows? <laughs> um, March is just assuming this shit. It's like at this point, he's not going to ask. I don't think Arana will either. Just, just chalk it up to to tune logic, and he's just like, okay, this is just a real yeah. kind boy, guys. <laughs> yep. Yeah. March but maybe a tune, but it doesn't mean he's accustomed to all this shit. Um Yeah, so basically he's like shows it, give it to like a little twirl, not enough to like knock anything off, but like just to, like show off a bit. And uh just like after you've seen it, he'll just like put it uh back into his hammer space. A weight goes into the into the sleeve. You don't know how it works, especially now that his sleeves are much smaller. But it works. I repeat, two logic. <laughs> two logic, baby. Two logic. Um, but yeah. Um, Arata tilts his head. Uh, Genie's probably still eating the fish. <laughs> <laughs> that is one fish. happy cat, by the way. He loves Hell fish. yeah. <laughs> um, as a person, as someone who, who knows Persona 5, I fucking bet he does. Oh, absolutely. Oh, he absolutely loves seafood. Um, <laughs> but like, yeah, um, Arana tilts his head and... I'm trying to figure out what he would say. Absolutely valid. Um, I think he's trying to figure out, too, so he takes a moment and he goes, um, I, I actually got a, um, a letter from my old, um, school counselor. Uh, he's, he's a, he's a therapist and... Oh, um, I didn't say, but I or I'm already going to therapy. No, that's I, uh, that's, that's good. I, I'm for a bit now. I mean, I, that's that's fair. I'm like I'm like trying to draw on experience here, and he says that with like a sort of laugh. <laughs> um. Yeah. And he goes. I mean. 
I understand because like we did just meet a little while ago and it, it may not have been in the greatest of circumstances but if there is something on your mind Barch um I am more than willing to you know listen thanks I'll keep it in mind he gives you a look <laughs> I swear I will. <laughs> I already, I already have enough of. Uh, you already, already bothered me enough of that kind of stuff. I don't. I'm not. I'm not gonna hide things. Uh, I think I think Arada snorts at that, <laughs> and and he uh, he kind of like smiles and he goes, "Well, I guess so long as you're being honest, but like, I'll be honest too. I don't think any of us are okay after what happened, and we uh, can tell. No, ourselves, definitely not. Yeah, we could tell ourselves all we want that we're fine, but like, dude." What the fuck? <laughs> he just said yeah, that out loud. <laughs> <laughs> March is just like, l la just a little chuckle at that. Just like, yeah, I don't. Hmm. It's sure as much. That's for sure. I. And like. And. He just, like, trails off a bit. I do stand by what I said back then. It's... It is okay to not be okay. Um. Yeah. I have a lot of experience with that, so yeah, I guess. Um. I'd only recently gotten somewhat better, I guess. Arata kind of gives you, kind of gives you a sympathetic look. Like, yeah, he gets that. He's not gonna press for information. That's not who he is. But he does. I think at this point he finally does take like a seat as he eats. And he eats and he goes, "Oh shit, this is actually really good." Hell yeah, March is a, March is actually a pretty good baker. Because he has been taught Ray Marcel, who's also a good baker. Oh, that's that's. And I, l <laughs> and I love the character interact, so I will mention it always. <laughs> that's cute, very adorable. Um. Hey. Shit, you you actually like bake a lot, don't you? <laughs> Um, maybe. <laughs> Arata actually laughs. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm not much of a baker, but I do know how to cook. Um. Yeah, you made that curry. It, it was really good. I mean, yeah, we didn't... <laughs> We didn't have a, uh, a lot of the usual ingredients, but I did what I could. Um, so, yeah, I'm just glad you liked it. Um, it's actually my, um, my, my, um, my guardian's recipe. Uh, oh. Yeah. He said it was scientifically enhanced by a, uh, by a genius. Like, all the <laughs> ingredients were just scientifically put together, and that's why it's so good. <laughs> How do you scientifically put together a recipe? Okay. Uh, Arana leans back. 
because he like <laughs> tries to remember this story and he goes he goes okay if i remember right uh he told me this story about how there was somebody he used to know at his old job and when he made curry for the first time she tried it left came back later uh asking all sorts of questions about all the ingredients he used and then later she came up with like a better recipe huh okay <laughs> it's 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 something um <laughs> but like yeah um the best curry uh the best curry in Yeddo. I'll I'll be biased and say that. <laughs> hmm. I well, I haven't really been outside of Vancouver ever, so can't really compete that can't really uh argue that. <laughs> Uh, Arata just kind of sighs, and I think at this point they're probably going to fall into another awkward si silence. <laughs> yeah, just like, Arata and Jeannie are probably eating while well, March is somehow once again fiddling with something in the kitchen. You don't know where he finds those. It's like, gotta do something. Keep yourself busy, I guess. Yep. And, um... Hmm. Thinking of what to do in this FPS. Because I am very not prepared. Oh, we, we just jumped right into it, man. <laughs> Yep, we we said, hey, what if, and then just like nodded at each other, jumped yeah. in, then we're like, ha, huh, wait, huh? Um, hmm. I think he's gonna. I think Arata. I think Arata's going to try and make another joke, and he says. Did you see the look on Sinclair's face when I shot that cube out of his hand? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I I think that was th that. I'm trying to remember, I think that was a bit before March actually went into a rage. So I think he he did see it. <laughs> yeah, that was that was a really good shot. God, I was so scared of missing. I can't believe I hit it. I, to be honest, I, I, I can't believe he's supposed to be, like, big, bad, and strong. He did not die very well, like. To be fair. Yeah, there was, there was the first thing with the, uh, and he, more, okay, rolling, um, rolling a d10 again, uh, a, okay, um, uh, March pulls out a, a small brooch and uh arada just being in its presence is getting making you very is like starting to make you up slightly angry oh shit because it's just like angry and like oh god fucking damn it not this shit again oh. but like and march is like i bought this at glorps i think it might be haunted it might be cursed, but it does damage. I f I tried tried uh, using it on Sinclair, but it didn't really work, which was unfortunate. Oh. But then later he didn't like dodge. He's not very good at dodging, I think. To be fair, we did collectively just say get his ass. So like. <laughs> That is also a valid, uh, statement. <laughs> God. I wonder if he had, like, actual spells that I... That he didn't get to use because he got blinded so fast. Oh, God. Uh... 
probably did. I don't want to know. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to dwell on that. He got what he deserved. Yeah. He. I hope he won't be getting out anytime soon. Or at all. Actually, no, at all. I don't want to get out at all. Um. Roll insight. Alright, insight it is. That's a plus three. That's a f not one! Okay. I rather just nods at you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's he's <laughs> he's in too much deep shit to not stay in there for a very long time. Um Yep. Well, um, he murmurs something in in a different language, and then he just goes. But <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> I think that it's like. Where it just like kind of like after that it's like well no more thinking about Sinclair since oh I know well well I don't think we need to think about Sinclair anymore he definitely does not deserve it oh um... absolutely not there he, Arada doesn't have a drink but if he did he would have just drank uh, taken a long sip right then and there <laughs> <laughs> I mean bold of you to assume Mar March would not give. March wouldn't give him also something to drink. I'm just a silly, silly head and forgot to say that. That's fair. He takes a, he takes a very long sip. <laughs> Take a big, a big sippy. <laughs> big sippy. <laughs> big sippy. And I, and like March is also like, I I'm just glad Sammy's all right. I. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. The first, the first time I met Sammy, I saved him from, I think, now I know, but it's one of Sinclair's goons, but... Oh, shit. I... I saw him run by, and he was chased by someone, and when I came checking, um, he... Mar he was cornered by that goon. So without thinking, I just threw a javelin at him, and that, and that was it. And then history was made, and we're now friends. Nothing says friendship like beating up somebody who's trying to catch you. Yeah. It was a douche. That was a douche. <laughs> you don't just like to capture people. Come on. <laughs> Rude. Oh, very, very rude. Oh, God. <laughs> I... See, I only met Sammy because he was trying to catch Gil in the Uncanny Valley that, that one time. Uh... That shit I... was something. <laughs> I can bet. The Hank County Valley, I heard a lot about it. I haven't been there personally, but... I... I met Gil once before, well... This... Well, actually, wait, out of character, I don't remember if, um... If they've been told that, uh, Tremolo was, uh, Gil? I don't think... I don't think, uh, it was told. I think... Like, I don't know, I don't remember what Heartless decided, so, uh... <laughs> I think, I think Gil tried to keep up the, the tremolo. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. Oh, out of range. Okay, so March does not know. Um... Arata knows because uh, Trickster knows Gil. <laughs> yeah. Um... Yeah, so, um... Yeah, March is like, he's just sort of going off of like, oh yeah, you're talking about Gil, uh, let me think about Gil now. Uh, I've, I think I've only met Gil once? He sort of, uh, 
Do I think he was in disguise back then? He had this <laughs> funky fox mask. He... I think he just sort of broke in uh, the studio to start and cause and to, just to cause problems on purpose. I don't think the, he had like the studio. Or, yeah, the other studios. Arata kind of just puts a hand to his forehead. He what? Broke, I he broke into Dodo Studios. Yep. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> He charmed a guard. It that made Sammy angry. Oh my um, god! <laughs> I think he also put a fake bomb somewhere in the studio. Yeah, I wait. Actually, don't remember if it was fake or real because the engineer likes to have both. Um, we also got lost and Prim ran away because she was afraid of bugs. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> Hang on, I think Arata needs a moment to like catch up with the fact that like, oh wait, March is a famous actor. Oh wait, March knows the engineer. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, you're, give me, give me a second. Yeah, that's about right. That's about right. I, I rolled, I rolled a, a whiz save. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> well, cute to fat boy, I guess. He's- he's just like... Holy shit, you know the engineer! Um, yeah, he- he's my boss. Arata has well, both- Arata's head is in his hands. Well, was my boss before the studio went to, uh, to- went it into a break, like, our side of the studio went into a break, but yeah, I- We acted together in, uh, Star Cause and- Oh, Some other movies. Star cons. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm Munchie. I yeah. Arata is trying very hard. <laughs> Arata, I thought uh, it was pretty distinct with uh, you know, flower head and forearms. Look, look, look. There was a lot going on back. Yeah, that's valid. Um Arata takes a deep breath, <laughs> he tries to, like, catch himself up with this conversation, and he goes, My little sister is a big fan of the Engineer's movies. The last letter I got from her was her screaming about, uh, Star Cause, actually. Hmm. Well... <laughs> I think the first time I uh, I met Q, he he asked uh, me to sign a poster. I'm still not used to being popular. I gotta say, I last time also when I went to Glory to sell the great eggs, the uh, shopkeeper there, uh, not Glory. I don't remember who who it was. I didn't catch her name, but she 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 knew who I was and. Um, she knew, but I was an actor in the Engineers movies, and God, how do people cool. deal with fame? Uh, not well, I'll tell you that. Um, I don't know. I'm, go Arata, Arata. I'm gonna have to start. To st I'm gonna have to start going in costumes. <laughs> oh my God! Okay, you know what that reminds me of. What? Okay, I actually knew somebody who was famous. Uh, back home, uh, there was this, there was this really famous, like, young detective. He was a detective prodigy, right? Mm -hmm. um, oh man. Okay, there was one time when we decided to like hang out at a coffee shop, but the thing is. This coffee shop was in the middle of, like, this well-known, like, shopping district, so... And, like dumbasses, we decided to sit next to the window. So a yep. whole bunch of people saw that he was there. Oh, no. Uh, a crowd started forming, so, like, I'm sitting there, I just want to drink my coffee, man. 
so I just p- drag him to the to the bathroom and like I mess up his hair. I give him my glasses, um, and I take his his suit jacket, right? Yeah. And we come back. Nobody recognizes who he is anymore. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. That's incredible. <laughs> so, like, I have no idea how, how famous people deal with that. Um, Hopefully I didn't get that much attention yet. I hope I don't. I don't. Take it easy. Uh. I mean, famous people are still people. Um, it's... I think some people tend to forget that. Um, Errata goes a little quiet at that. You're free to roll insight. I sure fucking will. That- no! never mind, that's a five! You can roll- you can give me advantage if you'd like. You, you know what? Fuck it. Do, roll advantage. <laughs> That's oh, a 22. Parser. Much better. Right. Thank you, Dice Parser. Oh, totally opposite end of the fucking spectrum. Opposite end of the spectrum. Absolutely wonderful. We love that here. Um, Arata goes quiet, and he- He's, like, rubbing a hand against the side of his face as, um, as he was talking about this famous person that he knew, um, and he is, he is smiling. He does remember this memory with fondness, but there is another hint of some other kind of emotions, and you realize, March, that it's melancholy. Arata is sad thinking about this. But there's also a hit of hint of anger. Did something happen? Arata kinda like sighs. And he rubs the back of his head, and he just goes... I haven't... seen that guy in... well... It'll be two years in December. Um, one day he just disappeared vanished off oh. the face of the planet. Nobody knows what happened to him. You can roll insight on that, too. <laughs> you can also roll insight on that. You can also roll insight on March. Okay. Uh, that's another net one. Oh, I'm so sorry, March. Uh, and here's... Uh, Arata's insight. That's a 16. <laughs> yeah, um... Well, uh, since March is getting nothing, you are at least getting, uh, but the, uh, vanished off the face of the earth, sadly, uh, is, brings, uh, very close home to March. Oh, boy. And... That is a nat one, but it's a modified four, so I think at the very least I can give you that... You, Arata, the la- you get the impression that the last time Arata saw this person, it was very emotional. Hmm. Yeah, March doesn't really have much to say about that. Hmm. Because he doesn't want to pry, and it's like- yeah, and yeah. Arata's, Arata's not gonna pry on what <laughs> that insight check. It's like, who oh boy. But, like, he does go. I mean, he was kind of an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> like, probably the, the biggest asshole I knew. 
Well. He told me to his face. He told me to my face that he hated me. That's how much of an asshole he was. He still hung out with me, though, so I don't know what that says about him. Oh, so he's... So it's in the ray. <laughs> Arata bursts out laughing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he's, he's just... <laughs> he was the biggest fucking Sundere. Like... Oh, uh, God, I think... I think at some point, he, like, yeah, he told me that he hated me. But also, I was the only person he would hang out with casually. So, like... I guess he was in Sundere. Well, that's, uh... That sure is a way to say... That Okay. <laughs> that sure is a way to say stuff. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah. I wanna say I don't understand why people would... Would, like, say one thing and mean another, but then again, I know Decibel. Who the fuck is Decibel? You mentioned Decibel a while ago. I have no idea who that person is. Oh, Decibel's uh, Decibel's our friend. Um. Well, he was Hugh's friend at first, and I for a bit I thought he hated me, but turned out he just didn't trust me because he's a cardomancer and he and he reads people's futures, and I think the cards sort of hate me. In a way, but uh, none of the no readings uh, that Decimal ever did to me actually made any sense. So, like, and he he makes like a shrug gesture. So he just like didn't trust me for a while before he told us, "Go talk things out, or I will be sad." Oh my well, God. not really, but that, that that was basically the sub the subtext. And, uh, we, uh, we talked, we did 20 questions, and, um... And we basically, I think we're in better terms with each other now? I'm not very good with, uh... With judging, um, relationships and that, so I think... Maybe. Yeah. Arata just kind of nods, and he goes... Man, fortune tellers are weird. I most of my experience with fortune tellers are people getting baffled. So, like, I used to know a fortune teller, and she hated me for a little bit because I would always uh, somehow circumvent her fortunes. Hmm. And you want to know what I told her? Fate isn't what? real. There is no such thing <laughs> as fate. <laughs> well, uh, that's one thing to uh, get um, Decibel angry, I think. But uh, tell him that... Like <laughs> Deci Decibel, if you would uh, to, to say... I think he values his... Uh... I think he's, he values his fortunes very much. Yeah, Arado just kind of like sighs and shakes his head. And he goes. <laughs> yeah, I. <laughs> I have a very shaky relationship with fate. Um, I've always been the kind of person to just, you know, carve my own path, not listen to, to what somebody with a deck of cards have. I mean, I have my own tarot deck. Oh? Yeah. It's... Fortune reading should not be set in stone. Fortune reading should be, Hey, if you continue on this path, this might happen, and here's what you can do if you want to change it. That makes sense, right? That's what it yeah. should be. It's guiding, mm -hmm. not, not a railroad. Yeah, that makes sense. I've gotten way too many weird and obscure and 
slightly terrifying reading sometimes, uh, to not think about that. Though most of them were kind of... I don't even know if they're wrong or not, because they were just so... wild and out there. And out there? <laughs> like, the first reading I had was saying I was really upset with money, which I'm not. Um... There was a reading that, that, for the subject, gave me the Dark Lord, which I suppose is very bad, but also, what? Huh. I'm doing fine? Cards? Hello? <laughs> see? See? Fate doesn't exist. <laughs> And the more I get them, like, at this point, I've just been going to get readings because it's, I'm interested to see if what other wildly ominous and funny readings I'd get. Like, so many people have been looking at, look at me like they see a ghost whenever I, whenever they finish a reading. I think the cards just hate me at this point. <laughs> I mean... The cards are fickle. I'll give you that. Yeah. I, I've come to realize. <laughs> uh, we are coming up to, uh, to an hour, and I think there is another FPS after us. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so I, like I, one one last thing I I wanted to do is like I know we talked in the group chat about like the the thing with like the uh cards and like when you like pick one of them like yeah. So like we can do that and like end it. Um Arata actually okay, yeah, actually. Arata's going to reach into his bag. Uh and he goes and he takes out a deck of tarot cards, and this is a really interesting deck of cards, um, and he's going to show you it. Uh, March, feel free to roll Arcana. Okay. Oh, baby's doing something. That is a 21! Oh boy! Okay, yeah, um, uh, March, there is an enchantment on this deck of cards. Um, oh. Uh, it's not a powerful enchantment. Nothing bad will happen if you mess with it. It's it's something small. And Arata shows you it. Uh, what do you think? Oh, it's magical? Oh, yeah. Watch this. Um, he... Uh, hang on, let me actually do a dex check. Yeah, that's about right. Um, he shuffles it. He shuffles it a little bit. And um, he takes a card from somewhere in the middle and he flips it up. It's uh, the card for the fool. <laughs> and he shows you it. And then he purposefully shows you him putting the card at the, at the bottom of the deck and then he takes a card from the top of the deck and he shows you what, what's on it. It's the fool again. <laughs> well, I guess I now know what the enchantment is for. Is it just the fool all the time or? No, I depends on who's holding it and who's drawing the card, but, um... Oh. Uh... Here, um, you try. And he holds out the- he holds out the deck for you to- to take a card from. March will pull out a card. Uh, March, the card you pulled out is death. Yep. Oh. Well... Is this a good or a bad thing? Yeah. Arata looks at it and he he kind of shrugs and he says, 
I think it depends on context. Death's mm -hmm. not always a bad thing, and usually the card doesn't always mean, like, an actual death. It implies an ending. Um, like... Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Letting something go so that something new can begin, basically. Uh, yeah. Definitely makes sense. And, um, he holds out the deck for you to, to put the card back in. March will put the card back in. Uh, and he shuffles it again. Um, do you want to roll a really quick perception? All right. That's an eleven. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. This is a, this isn't a, a a big thing. Uh, so I'll I'll will ask this: How familiar is um is March with the traditional uh, tarot deck and the arcanas? Um, I would say not that much, because, uh, as much as Hugh has been, uh, doing funky card shuffling tricks, um, March isn't really too big on that thing. Like, yeah, getting your fortune told is cool and f and fun and all, but other than that, he doesn't really know much about it. But he- but March has t gotten, like, tarot readings from other people, right? Yeah. Okay. There are- a few cards that you have not seen uh, come up before in any other t of your tarot readings. Uh, one of which is the Apostle. Uh, Ooh. One of which is Hope. Uh, there's the Counselor. And there is Faith. And Arata doesn't... Uh -huh. Arado doesn't say anything about it. Um, he just like shuffles the the deck back together, and just for fun, he's going to let Genie pull a card from it. Uh, it comes out with um, the magician. Hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. Me, who knows Persona Five? He who. He who. Hey, this is now on a recording, so now it's canon. No going back now. Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Social link. Hey. Um, so Arata, Arata puts the, the deck back together, slides it back into a box, and he's like, yeah, I got this as a, as a gift from an old, um, from a mentor, basically. Um, I haven't seen him in a while, but... He's cool. Um, uh, but, yeah, thanks for letting me stay for a little bit. Oh, no problem. You can, you can come back anytime. Alright. Me and, me and he will uh, probably always be here. <laughs> if we're not getting swept up by plot at some point. I rather like I'll be honest. heavy breath. <laughs> I'll be honest, Q does have a tendency to wander into that, and I mo and some and a lot of times I'm with him. You know what? That's fair. Uh, I'll be sure to drop by whenever I can. Like, like last last time we angered a sorceress, almost killed her, then got accidentally kidnapped onto a ship, and then um, Hello? then we met. <laughs> That's fine. I, we we got back. The ship, we, we got, we found the owner of the ship, and we turned, uh, we, and, uh, they turned us back, and they turned back, uh, to shore, and we, it was all, it was all, it was good, it was good, it, don't worry, it's, it's fine now. Okay. <laughs> Arata is just like, well, we don't have time to unpack all of <laughs> More casual! <laughs> Casually referencing what the whatever the fuck happened in C to C and and holler at the horizon. Hilarious as peck. Um, Arada, <laughs> Arada just bids you a, a nice pharaoh, and he goes, "Tell tell Hugh I said hi, and then I hope he feels better mm -hmm. soon." 
And with that, thank you. I will. Uh, with that, he's going to give you a wave. He's going to also pick up Genie. Uh, <laughs> Genie, which I assume finished the fish by now. Yes, absolutely. Genie lets out a meow in protest as he's a uh, as he's picked up, but he doesn't squirm, so you know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, and Arata leaves the apartment. Uh, before he does, though, he goes, oh, wait, one last thing. Whatever yeah. you guys want, you guys are free to come by the, uh, the last one in. Um, anytime you want. I'm usually working there, so. Noted. Thank you. Yeah. And he leaves. Yeah, and I think, um, I think we can fade to black after that with, uh, March sort of just doing a little bit of cleaning after, uh... I assume they didn't do that much of a mess, but, like, there's plates and it's, like, gotta wipe the table down. Yeah. Because that's, cause that, that's what you do. And, um... Yeah, god, the last one is such a good fucking name. <laughs> also, you can fucking bet that once you get better, March and Hugh will be going there because friends. Oh, that's good. We love that here. But yeah, they're very good. I think that is all we've got time for now. Yep, that's that's all we've got. Uh, thank you, uh, thank you, Avi, for for uh, heck, for letting me do this on such a short notice. I was just like, hey, FPS time, <laughs> bro. I'm always down for that. And uh, <laughs> hell yeah, I on my end. Also, uh, fun fact, I got, I, I thought about the title for this, um, for, for this, uh, FPS, like, two hours before the game. So, uh, that was a fun one. Oh, uh, it was real fun. It's real, it's a good one. I'm glad we went with real this. Real good. <laughs> I love, I love Arata, Arata, my beloved, also Persona 5, hell yeah. Uh, I also love March. I'm glad we're here. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Thank you for listening. Bye. And uh, we will see you around. See ya. Bye.